two, having lost two close bouts to a Cuban by the name of Font. Baltimore yeah. Font, who he lost to, lost uh, in the Cuban duel in 93, and then again in the Goodwill Games this year, but both times it was close. Close, a 3-2 to two decision and a 14-18 to 18 score. Come on, Carlos. Right now, carry on. I have to tip my hat to carry on because he's doing something that Navarro does not want him to do. He's keeping the space between the two boxers and he's utilizing that open space. Navarro's having a difficult time in closing down that space. Once again, open face portion of the glove. Caution for that. No points deducted. However, if that common foul happens three times, they could deduct, give him a warning, and deduct the points accordingly. We talked about the eight-year age difference between Carrion and Navarro. Carrion being 26, Navarro 18. And it's reflected in their experience. Carrion's been boxing since 1980. Navarro only since 87. That was an excellent example by Enrique Carrion against Navarro. Got him going back and then stuck him with a right. Shoot and move, shoot and move. That seems to be carry on style at this point. He's had a very, very, very strong second round, has Enrique Carrion. Under 10 seconds to go in the round. And there you see that roundhouse punch, if you will, by carry on. Open face portion of the glove. That does not count as a scoring blow. It's the knuckle portion, the white-tipped portion of the glove that must land in the scoring area to be counted. There's the bell, bringing them together for the third and final round of this three-rounder. Again, identifying the boxers, Enrique Carrion with the red vest, red headgear of Team Cuba, Carlos Navarro in the blue from Team USA, carry on in control of the first two rounds. This is an electronic scoring system. No way at the moment of knowing who has a lead, whether it's a close lead or an insurmountable lead. In an earlier bout, Juan Ramirez appeared to have an insurmountable lead over Albert Guardado. Guardado came back to have a huge third and final round and steal the bout from the Cuban. Navarro would love to do the same thing right here. And once again, that is possible. Navarro's going to have to work hard, though, to stay on top of carry-on at this point. For 30 years now, the Cuban boxing program has been run by a man named Al City Segarra, nicknamed the professor, and so he has been the uh, mentor for all of these great Cubans dating way back before Teofilo Stevenson and all the great Cuban Olympic medalists, 24 Olympic gold medalists in his illustrious career, and we'll develop more about Segarra and get some shots of him in the corner as the night goes on. He is truly a legend. He is the man that has literally developed this program within the country of Cuba. Very respected around the world, as you say. Navarro continuing to be the aggressor, but carry on has been so artistic at getting in and getting out. Very much of a, this has been very much of a counter game for carry on at this particular juncture, Sam. Under a minute and a half to go in the third and final round. Navarro starting to miss with some of his punches and he's running out of time. He cannot miss with the punches. He's got to move in and get serious right now. Both boxers getting off a few blows in that encounter. Hello to Morrison, the referee from the USA. There are two Cuban referees and two from the United States, and they will alternate on every one of these 12 bouts. One minute to go on the bout. Might add, Sam, that uh, Navarro was ranked number one at the 112-pound category. This, he's moved up to 119 pounds. This is his first bout at 119 pounds. <laughs> Carry on. Seemingly as fresh now as when he began this bout. What a deal Navarro has. He goes to school one day a week. Gets all of his homework for, the, for an entire week and then doesn't have to go back again until the next week. But it's because he's away so much and working so hard in his boxing career. This one's about over and uh, it would appear that the Cubans have a victory, but we have seen surprising voting in the past. 15 to go, under 10, and this one will be history. 
Enrique Carrion of Cuba, Carlos Navarro of Team USA. Now the game plan for so many of the Cubans, as we've discussed earlier, is to be active, choose your punches. It's a stick and move attack by Enrique Carrion. Sticks him, moves out again, leaves Navarro on the defense. And once again, for the official decision, let's go to our ring announcer, Ted Sarandis. Teddy? Ladies and gentlemen, the winner in the red corner, Enrique Carrion of Cuba. On a decision. And so Enrique Carrion of Cuba has won this bout over his worthy opponent, Carlos Navarro, but it should come as no great surprise, man, in light of the fact that Carrion has had so much more experience, certainly at the international level and in boxing in general. A good lesson for the young 18-year-old Carlos Navarro. I think we're going to see him down the road, Sam.